Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another third party unlicensed 1-6 scale accessory unboxing and review video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at not one, not two, but six individual metal custom Captain America shields. Now I picked up mine from toyswonderland.com. Bear in mind they are all made by art. The company is art by art, and it is third party, and it is unlicensed. That means the company that made these doesn't hold the intellectual property rights to actually brand them as Captain America themed. Now you might be thinking, Justin, why do you need six Captain America shields? Well, I saw the set on Toys Wonderland, and I thought I may as well pick them all up, because there have been various instances, not every single time, but every now and then we'll get a Captain America figure that has a really awesome outfit, a really nice array of accessories, but the shield isn't quite right. I'm pleased to report that every single one of these shields is made of die cast. Now let's start off by taking a look at this one on top. This is the Buy S6. I will have the link to Toys Wonderland in the description below just for your reference purposes only. This is by no means a promotional video. This is a review on a set of shields that I purchased with my own money. Now the first one happens to be the shield that was scratched by T'Challa the Black Panther himself in Captain America Civil War. It is absolutely sturdy. It feels like a solid piece because it is. It's made of metal. You can see the brushed metal finish and of course the paintwork looks exceptional. The claw marks don't actually appear to be sculpted in. They're just painted on top but at the very least this is a really nice well-crafted metal shield for your cap from Civil War. Next up let's take a look at the S3 option. They're not really named in a way that you could instantly tell exactly what this is supposed to be just from the box itself, but this one is the straight up chrome shield from Captain America the First Avenger. For those of you who don't know, I actually do have the Pop Toys outfit set for Cap with the World War II military uniform. This will go perfectly for him. Yes, I know, it's not supposed to have the star on the front there, but this one does. They were just basically reusing this mold. That's perfectly fine for me. At the very least, we do now have a chrome shield option that's super easy to go ahead and pick up from a company that, by now at least, I do have some confidence in. This one is the Buy S4 option. They are all packaged in the exact same box because, of course, Buy Art do like to use this style of box art. This one appears to be just a basic classic cap shield. I guess you could use this for your first Avengers movie cap or pretty much any of them. It looks exactly the same. Straps on the inside made of metal painted very very nicely. It is pretty much the exact same as the scratched version just a teeny tiny little bit lighter in terms of the red finish. Now let's take a look at the next shield being the Buy S8. So let's take a look at this one right here. Once again exact same box art work. A little bit bland. Honestly, I do think they could have put, at the very least, a cap shield sort of sketch on the front here. Oh, and wow, this one is quite interesting. This is, of course, the Strike Suit Stealth Suit Caps Shield with some blood and some scratches on there. Now, that's a little bit gnarly. I don't know if this is technically based off the start of the Winter Soldier, where, of course, he's on the boat and he sort of slams this into a bunch of thugs, but I really like the blood effect. It's nice, it's nice and deep, and, of course, the blue really does pop. It's nice to get a blue shield every now and then, especially if you don't have the strike suit cap, but you are a fan of the blue color scheme, because I definitely know a lot of people are. Next up, we do have the Buy S7. This one, I'm pretty sure I know what this is, because I have taken a sneak peek, and yes, it is a battle-damaged cap shield, completely stripped of all the paint. It is scratched, it is marred, and it is nasty. And I really like the way this looks. Not exactly sure which cap I'm going to give this to as of yet. Maybe an endgame cap, but then again, his sort of paint on the shield didn't really get scratched off in the same way this one does, but it looks really done fantastic. The last one, I'm pretty sure I know who I'm going to give this one to. I'm pretty sure you're going to know as soon as you see it as well. And don't worry, in the very next clip you will see a montage of a couple of caps with these various shields. This one I'm going to use with my endgame cap. It's battle damaged, it looks fantastic. I love the black pitting over the top. I love the sort of effect of the blast that's hit across the top there. It looks fantastic. Once again, these are all 
made of metal. They're super solid and super sturdy. What we are going to do now, though, is get some Captain America figures out here and pop these shields on them. Now, I know I said we were going to take a look at the caps in this shot, but I thought quickly, now that I have the caps out here, we may as well compare the Hot Toys entries on the left to the ones by Art on the right. So I've kind of matched them up as best as I could, being, of course, the Stealth Strike Suit cap at the top. This one actually comes with the two-pack with the civilian version of Steve Rogers from the Winter Soldier, so I guess that kind of answers the question for where this particular shield is meant to go. And the final one is the Civil War version, except for my Civil War cap, I'm going to be using the scratched up one that, of course, the Black Panther did scratch in Civil War. Now, starting off by taking a look at the Strike Suit version first, as you can see, they are significantly different. They are both made out of metal, which is a really nice touch, it kind of comes down to personal preference which way you're going to go. I do like the more vibrant blue on this one. This one is obviously more film accurate, but I also do like the blood effect on this one. It's basically just giving you options. By no means do you have to go ahead and replace all of your Hot Toys shields with the By Art versions, but say perhaps you're putting together your own custom civilian Steve Rogers figure and you don't have this shield, this one is a really nice alternative. In my opinion, the paint is just as good. Is it completely blowing the Hot Toys one away? No, I honestly don't think it is. I think the Hot Toys one is still relatively nice, but this one is a really nice stand-in if perhaps you don't have this one right here. And of course, just for a classic cap shield, I do like the vibrancy of the blue here, but I also do like the vibrancy of the blue on the Hot Toys one. They both look equally as good in their own right. They are pretty much the exact same size with the By Art one having even the same detail except for the rivets on the inside there, but the way the straps work and everything like that is pretty much interchangeable between the two. And there you have it, here are a couple of Captain America figures wielding their brand new By Art diecast shields. Now as I've said a couple of times, by no means do you have to straight up go ahead and replace all of your Hot Toys shields, they're really pretty darn good, but say perhaps you have a really specific use case for a certain type of shield, like say for instance, you've got the custom Pop Toys World War II military uniform set for Steve Rogers and you want to give him the chrome shield. That's pretty much the sole reason why I picked up this set, as well as of course to showcase the shields on the channel because they do look really darn fantastic. Now of course you do have a bunch of different options. You could be putting together all sorts of custom figures, say perhaps you bought yourself a Captain America on eBay, it's your first figure, it's loose, it doesn't have a shield, therefore you get a cheaper price. But now of course you need to get a shield for your cap or you're just straight up unhappy with the ones that Hot Toys give you because I know a lot of people would rather a very specific type of shield that didn't necessarily come with the cap that they did purchase. Therefore now, thanks to By Art, you kind of have the opportunity to pick and choose which shield goes with your particular cap and I think that's really a nice bonus. Now as I said, I will be replacing a couple, not all, of the Hot Toys shields with these By Art ones. The Chrome one will of course be going with the World War II uniform cap. I will be giving the scratched up Black Panther attack shield to cap from Civil War and more than likely that fully battle damage shield will be going with D23 cap and then when the final Avengers Endgame cap does come in, he will be given the broken one that I've reviewed previously. But for now, I'm really liking this set. They're very well done. They're done to an exceptionally high standard in terms of the paint and also the finish. They're all made of metal and they come in a bunch of different colors and varieties. As I said, I've included the link just for your reference purposes only in the description below. This is by no means a promotional video. This is a review on a set of shields that I've purchased with my own money. They are all unlicensed products. That means the company By Art doesn't hold the intellectual property rights to actually go ahead and produce these as Captain America shields. So if you are picking them up, do so knowing full well they are unlicensed. Also, if you are heading down to the description, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.